And with me in the studio today is Dr. Katrin Hahn, a neurologist from Berlin. Hello and welcome to the show. Tingling sensations in the legs, are those always a sign of polyneuropathy or are there any other causes? There are of course other causes. Poly means many, so there have to be many nerves that are affected mainly by a systemic disease, so a disease that affects the whole body. But you can also just put pressure on one nerve, you know, maybe instance a so-called ulnar nerve. And if you keep the pressure for quite some time, you will feel the tingling in the in the pimki. Okay, so so a direct pressure to the nerves makes tingling sensation as well. It For doesn't instance. always have to be polyneuropathy. Exactly. Yeah. The patient in our film, he had polyneuropathy and the doctor were not able to diagnose the cause. Is this a common problem? It's quite common, you know, it, it's around 20% of the patients where we are not able to diagnose uh, the, or where we cannot put the, the neuropathy to a certain cause. Okay, and if you don't find the cause, is it still treatable? Yeah, you just have to stay on a symptomatic treatment. You just have to treat the symptoms. So many of the patients, they just complain about pain, for instance, and that's a symptom you can treat fairly well with different kinds of drugs. Even with antidepressant drugs? Yeah, antidepressant drugs would be one uh, option. The other option would be so-called anticonvulsants. Okay. That are medications you normally use to treat seizures. And the third group are op opioids. Mm. And you can also stay on, on local treatments like uh, lidocaine or capsaicin, for instance. So diabetes is always or often a cause of yeah. polyneuropathy. Um, why is that? It's the main reason actually in Germany. So patients, you know, they just suffer from diabetes. It's just the high, uh, the high sugar level in the blood that just affects the nerve and mainly the isolation of the nerves, the so-called myelin. You can also measure this, for instance, if we measure the nerves, they're just more slower uh, than they normally would. So, so if you treat the diabetes well and lower the uh, blood sugar level, so you can treat polyneuropathy as well? Exactly. You can do this, the uh, nerves are able to regenerate, so the symptoms are getting better. If the patient suffers from pain, for instance, the pain uh, will just getting better and better. Diabetic patients are at particular risk with polyneuropathy, so, so why is that? Yeah, you know, the, the patients then do not only complain about pain, they have also less uh, sensibility. They do not feel when they go on, on, on sharp stones, sharp pebbles, for instance, and they are just vulnerable to, to a small kind of injuries. And that might be the reason why they are very vulnerable for all kinds of infections. So let's get to other causes. We got a viewer question from Nicaragua, mm -hmm. Günther Cruza. He asks us, he has a vitamin B deficiency. Might that be a cause for neuropathy? Yeah, that might certainly be a cause. We have different kinds of vitamin B, vitamin B1, B6 or B12 are main reasons to, uh, for neuropathy. Mm -hmm. So are there any other causes? Beside diabetes and yeah, the vitamins. second uh, reason in, in Germany, for instance, is uh, liquor. You know, liquor is a so-called uh, toxin. So if you drink uh, liquor on a regular basis, you may also uh, evolve symptoms uh, such as neuropathy. And and what are the treatment options with that? You just have to stay away. You can drink liquor, of course. You don't have to become abstinent, but you have to drink less. And the levels for, um, for the patients to develop neuropathy, they are quite different. You know, there are some people, they only drink it three times a week and they develop a neuropathy and other people, they're doing it every day and they don't develop. You just have to figure this out for yourself. But if this is the only reason uh, we can figure out that liquor might be the reason for the neuropathy, might be the underlying reason, then you, it's the best to just to stay off. Stay off the liquor, yes. totally. Yes. So is it reversible? It is reversible. Like I said, nerves are able to regenerate, so it is reversible. But like always, there is a point of no return, you know. If you just keep drinking, then of course there will be one day where it is not reversible. Mm -hmm. And with the diabetic patients? It's the same. Well? The it's same. the same, yeah. So you just need to control the sugar level, yeah. treat the pain and the tingling sensations and wait. It sounds so easy, but sometimes it's not so easy to control the sugar level, right? But it's worth the wait then. Of, so course, just, it is. Yeah. of course it Can is. the patients do anything by themselves just to, to treat it? Yeah, Let's if they have just a, you know, um, a well-balanced uh, nutrition, a well-balanced diet, I think that's the best what they could do. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for being here, for all those insights. Thank you so much.